Hi Aries, it's Gwen. I'm here to do a love reading for your sign. This is a general love reading. It's also timeless, so I trust it's going to reach you in divine timing. If you want your own love reading, just reach out to me. All of my information is in the box below. And um, just send me a quick email or a message and I'll get you booked. I love you guys. Thanks Aries for all the support that you give the channel. Um, in liking the video, watching it all the way through, and commenting, sharing the video. Remember to hit that bell if you want to be notified when I post new videos because it's pretty random. So, I have got tarot cards already pulled from you. Pulled for you. This is Tarot of Sex Magic. And then I also have some love notes from the universe, from my soul. It's a channel deck that I um, created. And then also an oracle card. And we're going to talk about that one first. But I have these gypsy cards here, and this is a chance for you to ask your spirit guides, your angels, a yes or no question. One that can be answered with a yes or no, excuse me. And um, at the end of the reading, you actually got two answers here. I will give you those answers. So let's get into this, um, Aries. Uh, underlying energy, too, is super important in this reading and this love story that's coming out today. You are in the process of um, embracing your emotions. We've got unicorn energy out here, loving uh, the shadow self, loving the inner child being depicted here. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted, even those darker emotions. Uh, it's a time for you to trust your intuition more. So there's a lot of feminine energy coming in. Absolutely in this reading. Um, you can hear the cat mewing for you in the background. That's Princess Spooky. Are you going to come get on the reading today? Are you going to come bless the reading? She's letting me pat her right now. So black cat of protection here in the reading for you, Aries. <laughs> I love that. So let's talk about this first card. Listen with your heart. And you can see the feminine energy that I'm talking about here. Eyes closed. Almost like a sister energy, a mother universal energy. Holding a seashell up to your ear, and this is about trusting our gut and trusting, slowing down, um, and sensing things with with beyond the sight. By the way, okay, you can see a lot of um, aquatic animals. This is about your emotional body. Okay, the fish speaks to fertility. The dolphins are about becoming more playful, um, and and. In, embracing joy in your life again okay you are listening but need to hear with a loving heart it is card number one so it's a brand new beginning it's like magician energy so it does bring out like a childlike presence that i also felt in this card right here okay so i am going to read to you from the book i think it's important this is the only oracle card you're getting today so you know and it's a focus for your love reading so the opportunity is here for you to bring a loving perspective to a situation. It is easy to get wrapped up in the words being said. What does your heart say about the situation? It knows the truth. Trust that. Sit still. Take a deep breath and ask your heart what you need to know. Love's first task is to listen. Do you have a habit of drifting away while someone else is speaking? Do you get entangled in your own thoughts? Take time to process what is being communicated before you respond or react. Learning to listen with an open heart will help you receive guidance or affirm something that you already know. Two young women are shown in this card. One holds a seashell to the other's ear. The seashell represents the good things that can be discovered in a challenging situation. The pot of dolphins playing in the background denotes the joy that may be found. The white horse may be a call to control your emotions. Stop and listen. What do you hear and how can it bring you more happiness to your life? Okay. I do see you taking a leap of faith here. This is one of the clarifying. You're thinking about taking a leap of faith because it didn't come out in the reverse or in the upright. It's sideways here. And I got this card to clarify the justice reverse card that we'll talk about as your um, future advice in the reading. Okay. The overall, the underlying energy on your reading today, um, Aries, is the chariot reversed. Okay, and let's talk about that. First of all, it's cancer energy. You could be dealing with a cancer in your life or have cancer in your chart, but not necessarily. Okay, 
let's put it in the upright so that oh we got the tower underneath that as well the tower reversed is is um, a need to make a change and sometimes we don't and so unexpected events happen divine intervention things like that um, um, a monkey wrench in your plans <laughs> With the chariot energy, that's about being very determined and driven and moving forward, right? Like in control. So in the reversal here, darlings, it's about possibly even being obsessed, having an obsession about love, a forcefulness about love, um, this overwhelming drive to find love, um, like so much so that you're uh, maybe you've put a like you, what you aspire to be on hold because you're so focused on love um and like no matter what you do you can't make the perfect person appear we've got cat energy coming into the reading this is sydney hello darling i'm trying to do this reading thank you lovies okay <laughs> cat energy so <laughs> Embrace that cat energy out there, y'all, because that, that doesn't happen every time with these readings. So that's what the chariot in reverse means. Like, I'm really feeling this need to control situations, um, being overly obsessed about love. And then that tower, too, can also represent betrayal. The card is actually ca called betrayal. So, like, this obsession or this focus on, be like, being betrayed and being juggled and having some shame. That's that, what that card is all about. Yeah, and focusing on the past, the Six of Cups. That's what I got for underlying energy. So let's talk about your cards here, darlings. I'm trying to hold this as still as possible. We've got some great energy to start your reading off with when I go across the top here. I've got the star card, okay? And then I've got this king of cups who continues to come out in these love readings, by the way. Um... And he's in the upright, which I, I love seeing that. These two cards next to each other, there's a lot of love in this connection. A love connection coming to you. It could be new love or, you know, if you're in a relationship, it could be speaking to the, the, the depths of love within this connection. The star always speaks to healing. The star speaks to this attraction. It's a divine attraction, uh, magnetism even. Um, all the stars that are in the sky there. It's so beautiful. There's a lot of charisma and charm uh, within the connection or somebody it represents, you know, like it, it's an Aquarius sign. You could have Aquarius in your chart. Um, this is also a sign from your guides to remain honest and open with your partner. And this will bring you closer. See how that feminine is like pouring her cup of love all over the masculine there. Okay. Tells me too that you're healing from past wounds currently. Yeah. The star is always about that and having this optimism and hope, uh, for your future Aries star card. I mean, look at all the love around this optimism and hope and love and this attraction, um, this magnetic attraction you have. There's so much love. We've got the Knight of cups underneath the star card. We have the King of cups here right next to the star card. And then I have the page of cups, 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 cups. I also have the eight of cups right here in the center. Love all over in this reading. Okay. But then we've got to talk about here on the bottom, some of them, um, we've got a new beginning, but we've got some blocks. Okay. And the wheel is reversed. So it's talking to me about some stagnation within a situation as well. I always like to look at Spirit's been giving me nine cards for each sign, nine cards, and then future advice, one card. Um, but the center of, of this whole little block that I've built here is this eight of cups. And that's a focus. And that's a um, underlying focus of the center of your reading here. So what is that eight of cups telling me? It's reversed. It's like knowing that you're in a bad relationship and not leaving it behind. There's some sort of underlying fear of being alone. Okay. So you could be pouring, 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 like, you know, pouring a love, nurturing this love. Okay. Um, and almost like dancing around an issue. Okay. 
what do we got to go? We're going back here. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. Okay. Embrace your emotions. They're dancing around a thistle here. Okay. Um, which is very thorny. Okay. Dancing around some sort of truth. See how he holds her wrist there. It's in like a, uh, I don't want to let go. And the feminine is looking away. This card is called bashfulness. So, but I have a feeling it's about not wanting to be alone, even though you know the situation. I mean, there's a lot of love in the connection here. There's a lot of flirtation. A king of cups. I'm knight of cups. Okay. The knight of cups is also, you know, somebody who is like obsessed. Remember, I've already said that with that chariot reverse. Obsessed about love. In love with love itself. Could be flirtatious with, a, with many partners. Many suitors. Knight of Cups. Um, he, he's all about attraction and flirtation. And sometimes some unrealistic expectations about love. Okay. But I've got this King of Cups up top here. And that tells me that this is somebody that's pretty satisfied within the connection. The card is called Satisfaction. This could be somebody... Who, you know, you have a, a, you think you have a beautiful, but there's this underlying, I need to leave a bad situation behind. The King of Cups is like trans, being transparent and it's a harmonious connection. Um, a compassionate and loving partner. One that calms you. That values family and is emotionally mature. And it's balanced, the King of Cups, it's balanced between the heart and the mind, okay? But there's some sort of apology that wasn't given, possibly by this King of Cups. We've got the Knave of Cups. Look at this. There's some sort of doubt. It's like he's writing a, a letter over and over again and not, and not able to come up with the right words here. There's some sort of... Um, knave of page of cups reversed is about jealousy too. Jealousy within the connection. It also could be a person that's very shy, a vulnerable type of partner, somebody who's emo emotionally immature. So like, <laughs> I'm getting such extremes here from these cards. You know, uh, this could be past energy, and then we're working into the future here. I'm I'm not sure, but somebody is is a very emotionally immature and insecure in a romance. Like they could be, even be awkward, the page of cups. There is a need to communicate with the light writing of the letter there. And there's some distance within the couple. There is a need to communicate, especially about all this love. <laughs> but the two of swords underneath this page of cups is like, it's, it, there's so much indifference in the card. About choices, too, are decisions, choices, indifference this feminine has to the masculine it's advances. It also could mean two of swords and reverses that you've got some painful choices that you've got to make within a connection. Sometimes it's about like no suitors, the right suitors. See how she turns her away from that flower? It's having a hard time prioritizing like your work and your love life kind of a thing and it's also a reminder to listen to your instincts and to trust your intuition more when the two of swords comes out i see you being able to do that with the ace of swords underneath which is fantastic there's been a lot of stagnation the wheel reverse yeah, wheel always sim symbols change but it's in the reverse, so that shows me something's not moving forward. There's stagnation, repetitive patterns and cycles that you're witnessing. This is about observation when the wheel is reverse. Accept your situation with patience and observe, okay? This could be the wheel reverse is something unlucky. A monkey wrench in your plans, like I said to begin with, about the, the chariot. Accept the situation, allow it, observe it. Observe, again, five of wands is called in this deck watching, okay? 
Um, it could be there's a lot of competitive competitiveness. Five of Wands is usually fighting or negative energy. There could be competitiveness between suitors. It also means there's a sense of playfulness as well. Um, and there's the cat scratching in the background, right? <laughs> tells me, tells me there's some conflict here between lovers. <laughs> we got the cats mewing. <laughs> But I see you taking a fresh perspective here. There's some bonding that's happening here. There's some trust within a connection that's reestablished here with honesty. Okay? Accept that bonding means giving of oneself. It means accepting doubt and transforming it into trust. And that's the last card they gave you. Future advice is the justice in reverse. So... Let's turn her around here. This is Libra energy. Okay. Card number eight. Talking about harmony. Um, I just got to ask, like, because of the, the chariot being reversed to questions like, are you be, cause it's going to talk about unfairness in a situation here in the upright. It's about fairness. In the, uh, yeah, in the reverse, it's unfairness, having unfair expectations within romantic relationships, um, blaming possibly you could be dealing with like the blame game, blaming an, um, a partner unfairly. There's a lot of comp not compromise that needs to happen within this connection. Um, are you looking for somebody that's absolutely perfect? Okay. Um, and with the, the fool being here to clarify it, you know, so it, I, I don't know if it's upright or if it's reversed. So that, that is also that energy of sometimes I'm a king of cups and I'm balanced between the heart and the mind. And sometimes I'm this knight of cups, even this page of cups with erratic emotional behavior. Okay. And that's the fool too, being reckless. Okay. Um, very much a childlike energy. And that's why the focus to begin with was to listen to your heart. Okay. To stop and listen and be still. And also to be willing to like, are you teachable? You know, you might be getting advice from helpful friends, you know, a sisterly connection here as well. Um, the leap of faith is always about take the fool card is about taking a leap of faith. And you're unsure about it. Um, it has to do with some sort of unfairness. You know, you, you a monkey wrench in your plans. Maybe it's about your finances with the wheel here. You know, that too. So that's what I got for your love portion. Let's get into um, the love notes real quick. Move this all to the side. These are notes that I channeled, and here are a bunch of them that wanted to come out for you today, Aries. Could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. I did mention Libra with that um, justice card coming out. Somebody is exhibiting some narcissistic behavior. I felt that a little bit with the uh, page of cups coming out. Somebody's feeling rather lonely within this connection. There are lots of emotions, and I felt that right from the beginning with the unicorn card, waves of emotion, all the seashells and the aquatic animals in this card as well, wave, an emotional time for you, Aries. I cannot find the words to express how truly sorry I am. I felt like somebody was trying to write an apology with that page of cups as well. Not getting the words right, continuing like writing a text, an email or whatever over and over again. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I love that quote. I love that movie. Yes. Yes, you know exactly who you're dancing with. Somebody could have, um, yeah, self-absorbed, is self-absorbed, self-absorbed feelings. That's definitely the uh, page of cups in reverse. You are so beautiful in every way. Person loves everything about you smoking this is like jim carrey smoking like being a goof a silly guy a silly character a silly person and you love that humor about them 
they exhibit a lot of sweetness. This is your self-love chapter, darling. Self-love. Time to pour into your own cup. Please open your heart to the new you. Smoke. I want to hold you to the morning light. Love notes. So that means that you could do these little sticky notes, love notes for your partner. I did see that person writing out a letter, a love note. Okay, receiving a love note. It's coming. Dirty deeds. That card's even dirty. Somebody with dirty deeds. And there's the jealousy that I said was at play too. That I felt with one of those cards. Um, uh, yeah, that again, that page of cups reverse. Every one of these cards is reminding me of that. <laughs> so, anyways, if, uh, let's get your uh, yes or no questions here maybe next time and answer unsure ask again so it's a pass it's a no if you're feeling some doubt or you're unsure ask again speak up darlings i love you aries um if you enjoyed this reading today if it was your reading drop me some love down below put a comment down below an emoji down below i love you guys remember this was the focus listen with your heart i love you guys